Hello, Divine Masculine. How are you guys? I hope all is well. <clears throat> I am Phoenix Rising, and I am here to do a love read for masculine twin flame separation. So you must be in twin flame separation for this to resonate. Um, it's a Divine Masculine. I'll do Divine Feminine next, and then I'll do Twin Flame. Okay? So um, if you're new, you can, click, you can click like, subscribe. You can share me. And if you're a returning Divine Masculine or Twin Flame or Divine Feminine, welcome. Um, this is a timeless read, so Spirit wants you to know whenever you get it, it's when you're supposed to get it. Take what resonates and throw the rest away. If it does not apply, you simply let it fly, okay? Out the window. Ugh. Okay, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm trying to get comfortable. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, if it don't apply, let it fly out the window. Just throw it on out, okay? Um, it's timeless, and if you need to look me for a personal reader, cash out me a donation. I just seen 5-5 five, five on the clock. This is about union. Okay, it could have been some chaos, crisis, competition that you had your divine masculine in or the divine feminine. Take it as resonates. Either you had your feminine in uh, competition or you were in competition or instabilities. Okay, but one, one, one on the clock. I'm just saying this. This is definitely about reuniting and it feels so good is what I'm hearing. Um, what's I say? Oh, to book me for a personal read of cash out donation. I probably repeat myself. <laughs> it's in the description box on my page. Probably to repeat myself. Probably repeat myself. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Spirit of the Most High, higher power source. We are nothing without you. We ask that you bless us on this day and every day. You cover us, Father. Okay? And you help these twin flames, Father. Masculine and feminine. We pray. We ask that you send your angels. Okay? The four corner angels. Gabriel, Uriel. Gabriel, Uriel, Michael, and Raphael. Ancestors, my own ancestors, and my own angels. Ethers give me messages. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy, Taurus energy. The will of fortune. Good luck. Um, I feel like this, you feel like your divine feminine is good luck, a blessing to you. I'm seeing 444. You want to be stable, secure with this person. You want to be committed to growing through your pentacles. All right, y'all. I just seen 222. Let's get into it. Divine masculine. Spirit, give me messages for divine masculine emperor. Someone's trying to boss up. Two, three, four on the clock. Messages. Ooh. Soulmate. Similar. Relationship. Romantic partner. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do four cards from this deck. Maybe five. And then I'm going to pull confirmation from that deck. So someone's your soulmate. Similar friendship partner. Romantic partner. <clears throat> okay, you got alienated telepathic dreams and songs. Okay, I feel like you're hearing synchronicities to remind you of your divine feminine songs, music, TV, signs, symbols, all that. Um, you're dreaming about this person. Um, and telepathically, I think you guys are talking in fifth dimension because we're in 3D right now. So never mind my little finger. I smashed. But we we in um 3D here on earth, but in 5D, you guys are talking. There's some type of drastic extreme cutoff that maybe you did to them or they did to you or you're doing to somebody with 333. There's some type of miscommunication. Okay, this is giving me cheery energy. It could be a Sagittarius or a Cancer. This is wanting to move forward. Wanting to release something and move forward because the cherry is here. Three, four, five on the clock. This is commitment, long-term relationship. Okay, this is what this is about. Let's see. My masculine messages. Okay, you guys are um, thinking about meditation, cleansing, removing negativity, people, things, places from your life. Oh, yeah, and here you go. My masculine. Look at that. You're coming up and you're thinking about your, your pledge. Ooh, twin flame, one soul pledge. Look at that. You're thinking about your twin right now as we speak. Could be a fire sign. Leo Sagittarius, Aries energy. Let's get into this. Okay, you got soulmate. Why soulmate here? You got soulmate in. You got twin flame came out. Divine masculine. Why is soulmate here for my divine masculine? Please, spirit. Messages for soulmate. Similar. Similar friendship romantic partner. You're not talking to this person. Whoever your soulmate twin flame is, there's no communication. The eight of swords, the eight of wands is here. Leo Sagittarius Aries energy. Um, you guys are not talking because I feel like um, some unveiling or some secret that you kept from them. 
Okay, maybe they came from you. This is self-deception. You only fooled yourself is what I heard. Releasing fear. Um, you hear something with the moon here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You hear something from your soulmate. Now that you're not talking. Yep, two of wands. I mean, two of swords. Um, there was an indecision that you failed to make. Oh, my God. My damn thumb going to take from the video. <laughs> there was an indecision that you failed to make with the two. This was about a choice, partnering, pairing, and you didn't make it, or you did make it, and there were some lies that was exposed. Now you're stressed and you're worried. Okay, there's some delays. Now there's some resentment as well, and this is an indecision, masculine. Three of Wands is frustrated, self-doubt. I think you're disappointed in the choices you made. Yep, because Three of Cups, I feel like you're in a situation with someone um, in reverse, someone's cheating on you. Okay, this is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. That's some type of infidelity with the person you're dealing with. Masculine, five, five, five on the clock. Crisis, chaos, conflict. And I feel like you're seeing that now. You're like, what the fuck is really going on? Okay, so here's do that spread. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like you're like, what the hell? And you miss your soulmate. You want to reach out. You want to talk. You want to say some things. You feel like you need to get some shit off your chest. You want to clear the air. I'm here. Okay, alienated, telepathic songs. You're hearing songs. You're hearing beautiful music. You're seeing TV shows and signs. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. Judgment is here. You want renewal. Some of you are homesick and you want forgiveness. You're thinking about making a snap decision. The devil's here. King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The devil's here. It is upright. This is Cancer, Capricorn energy. I feel like you're addicted to your twin. You're obsessed with your twin. You're in love with your twin. The devil's energy here is, is here, and it's in a good way, okay? This is like, you know, your bond your bond is like this. You know, you're, you're one soul divided into two, coming back on earth to complete a mission. And now I feel like you figured that out. Yep, king of swords at the bottom of the day. Routine, intelligent, you're detaching from something. You might have some legal issues or law enforcement involved, but this is definitely um, getting some type of clarity about the mission. About the fucking mission. With 717 on the clock, that's twin flame numbers. You can look that up and see what that means. The six of swords is here. This is definitely leaving something, progressively moving forward. You're thinking about running away from something and healing with your twin. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You think about moving forward, releasing something, releasing someone. You're in total isolation mode. And you're, I feel like, ooh, you're upset. You're not talking. Someone could even be emotionally upset. Some of you could be crying about the situation and not releasing your tears to your feminine when you're supposed to be actually opening up with the four swords, not shutting down. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. Too much, a long time. Hermit in reverse makes you paranoid, crazy. You are strong. You're paranoid. You're fear. You're lonely. Drastic. Extreme cutoff. Why is that here? Divine masculine. Why is that here? Drastic, extreme cutoff. Extreme cutoff. Drastic, extreme cutoff. The hangman in reverse, the chariot in reverse, failure to move forward. The chariot of Sagittarius energy. This is lack of self control. Okay, powerless. You feel like you don't have any power. Okay, um, and there's some type of aggression you're coming to. There's some type of obstacles you're trying to overcome. The hangman in reverse is detaching, and you're just you're, you're not content with how you are. This is not you're not happy. This is disinterested in the system. Disinterested in your current situation, and you you feel stuck in a negative pattern. The Ten of Swords is um, betrayal. Someone could have betrayed you, and now you want to leave the situation. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is bad mouth, bitch, and ruin. Yeah, I feel like you feel stuck, but there's some type of. Let me show you. Yeah, someone's miserable and stubborn around you. It could be the person you lay with. Drastic, extreme cutoff. Yep. You ready? It's a Astamanyana, this person. Yeah, because you're tired of arguing. Look, the lovers in reverse and the fool card. Gemini, uh, Aries, Taurus energy. Now, the lovers in reverse is arguing. Lovers quarrel, cheating, deception, lies. All kind of bullshit. Not seeing eye to eye. This is the person you're dealing with. This is not your divine mask. I mean, divine feminine. This is your karmic you're dealing with. And you're into it with 933. There's miscommunication. You're not seeing eye to eye. I feel like it's third party. Look at the card. Let me flip it up so you can see it. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So, you got the fool here, and this is someone being at ground zero. Like, fuck it, I'll start over. I can't do this. I need a new beginning. I need my freedom. you too uptight. You're on my ass. It's a new beginning. Um, and you don't want to be committed to this situation no more. 
Yep, that's the drastic extreme cutoff. Now you got commitment, long-term relationship. Why is that here? You got a 10 on the clock. 10 is definitely completion. You want to be successful with getting the fuck away from something. I'm just telling you how it's coming out. Commitment, long-term relationship. Why is that here? You want justice. I feel like you learned a life lesson here. Ooh, card for the Pope. The Queen of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Okay. This is wanting to be honest with someone. Whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter. My reads have no sex origin. So this is definitely having clarity and swords. All of them fell out. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> okay, yeah, the king of swords is definitely in reverse. This is definitely aggressive, brutal. You feel weak. Okay, you could have lied about something. And now you feel like um, someone's judging you. Or you feel like you need to judge someone. The hermit is upright. This is Virgo energy. This is definitely alone. Isolation. Because I feel like this queen of swords found something out. About this king of swords. That he was lying about something. Look, the king and the queen. Mental clarity. And behind all that now, it's like no talking. Yep. But someone wants to learn to learn commitment. And, yeah, the six of swords is here in reverse. A stormy relationship that someone feels trapped in. And they want an equal give and take. Virgo towards Capricorn energy. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior giving up, withdrawing. Give me more messages for commitment for masculine, please. Commitment, more messages for the masculine for commitment. Long-term relationship. I've been trying not to make y'all y'all reads long, but it just end up being it end up being long anyway. So I'm just gonna go with the flow today. It's, I'm going with the flow. Fuck it. All right, let's see. Mm. Yes. You're not talking to your divine feminine. You seven of swords to her ass. Yeah, the eight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is um definitely not committed to something. You weren't committed to something in the past, Virgo towards Capricorn energy. But now I feel with judgment here upright. This is renewal. You feel homesick. And you see your person as the star. You feel like you want to renew a hope, healing with this person. Okay, a new chance. You see your person, your divine feminine as the queen of pentacles. This is someone bossing up, following their dreams. This is someone generous, loyal, kind, successful. Someone could be a witch. This is like a homemaker. And she's showing up as the star. I feel like career oriented. Um, the star is definitely Aquarius energy. This person could have Aquarius in their birth chart, or they could be an Aquarius. This is hope, inspiration, positive healing. This person is content and calm, and you want to go their way. Um, the judgment is here. This is definitely homesick renewal. Okay, this is making a snap decision about commitment because I feel like you're not talking to this person with the four of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy because you guys broke up. You're not talking. Okay, and you seven of swords, your Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You could have cheated. You could have lied. You could have did something, but you want to come back as the King of Wands. With a way of words and a born leader. You want to be honest about something. I put the damn cards in the wrong way. Oh, Alright, wait a minute. Cleansing. Cleansing. Why is cleansing here? Removing negativity for the divine masculine. Cleansing. Cleansing. Judgment upright. Same song. Yeah. You want this person to heal you. These are the same cards. Look, Seven of Cups. You want to be pick and chooses, fantasies, wishful thinking. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is the love of your life. You got Cups energy. And this is the look, the same cards. The star, you see them as a star. You want to apologize. You want to go home. You want them to clean you. You want to heal. Meditation. This is you. Yeah, look at this. Beautiful, right? Yeah. Yeah. And this person can heal you. Look, you're going to uh, you're gonna come forward with your love with the Knight of Cups. You're going to make a romantic offer, a gesture. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy. The chariot is forward movement. You're going to move forward. This is Sagittarius, Cancer, energy. Yeah, because I feel like you feel left out in the cold, okay? There was some type of breakup, and you feel like you like homeless, like you feel like that's your home. With 14.44 on the clock. Twin flame. Why is twin flame here? And you got divine masculine. I'm going to pull for both of them. Twin flame, divine masculine. Why is that here? Twin flame, divine masculine. Why is that here? 
Ten of Pentacles. Temptors, they know they're in balance with you. They're trying to uh, detach themselves from the devil, or you are trying to detach yourself from the devil. Okay. Uh, Capricorn, Cancer, Energy, the devil is addictions. Um, so I feel like you're trying to balance things out. The Ten of Pentacles is something being completely over. Money issues, rocky foundation, illegal activity, fighting over money with the karmic. And family feuds. The Seven of Wands is here. This is very defensive. I feel like maybe you left your your um divine feminine and she was broken, unbalanced. Okay, and you went out, yeah. You you took more than you could give. You this person, will you or the feminine? Ace of uh cups is unrequited love. Someone taking, 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 the other person giving, giving, giving. And I feel like now you feel like she's defensive. So not knowing how to exactly approach, or either you were defensive and unbalanced. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles is wanting to build commitments. Yeah. Virgo towards Capricorn. You want to commit to this situation now with results, okay? And you, the Fool is here in reverse. The Ten of Wands is here. The Ten of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. This is someone you could have took your person for granted, and they could have been stressed out with 16, 15 on the clock, okay? The Fool in reverse is um, carelessness, and you feel stupid. And that's what you want to say. Um, let me see. I want to get some more messages. Oh, it's raining so bad. Give me one message about... Mm, let's do Twin Flame and then we'll do... Uh, some just said pull more. Let's just pull some more. Twin Flame. The mirror play. Why is that here? Give me more. Give me more, spirit. Oh, yeah, today... They feel lost. You feel lost without your person. You could have ghost blocked or cut off your person. So today you're thinking about this person. You're thinking about your twin flame. That's what's here for today. For yeah, it's heavily on your mind. What else about twin flame? Uh -oh. oh, you're thinking about moving physically, moving and jumped out. You're thinking about physically moving back towards your twin flame, moving in, calling, reaching out, getting a place with them. Okay, you might live in a different state or country or city. And you're thinking about moving towards the person. Divine masculine. Or they're thinking about moving towards you. What else do you have for today and um, today in Twin Flame? What else? Let's see. We get just today in Twin Flame. I feel like somebody ought to know. Today in Twin Flame. What's going on? Oh, I bit my lip. Somebody's not talking. I must bit my lip. Someone's still biting that tongue, biting that lip. Oh, yeah. Right now, the Damascus is worried about child support, alimony, government, financial support, money. They're closed in, trapped, frustration. Okay, they're finding the divine feminine is insatiable, unquenchable, wanting more. This is all for current situation. They're getting synchronicities and signs that they're supposed to be with you. Or you're supposed to be with them, you're getting the signs. They're coming to you really fast. All right, so let's get the divine masculine now. Last card. Divine Masculine. Why is that here? Divine Masculine. Yeah, someone, you want to keep this person to yourself. You haven't had past issues with your Divine Feminine, but you like, this is my baby. Keep to self. Can't nobody get this person. Yep. Yep, crickets. You see, yeah, this why. Because you're not talking to this person and you see your, your feminine being single. You like, you got me fucked up. Nobody gonna get, yeah, you watching. Look, I just said that, look. You like, nope. I ain't gonna have cap. <laughs> masculine, like, uh uh. Give me one message just for masculine. Oh, I'm hot. I'll turn it in before I do the next reading. I'm bringing up. Oh, yeah, the money's upside down with this karmic. There's something going on with this karmic third party situation. Okay? Where the money is just not right. It's not coming in. And the masculine is definitely worried about waves of emotion keep coming and going, sadness and happy. They want to trash. They want to throw disregard, throw away something. They feel like someone's playing games or you feel like you played somebody and someone threw you away. You're ready to negotiate, bargain, begging. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, open up emotionally. This is the masculine. You're watching your Defined Feminine on Facebook, Twitter, any social media, YouTube, um, Instagram, tag, whatever you name it. You name it, you got it. Because she's like, lesson learned, learn, completely done. You see her bossing up looking real sexy and you're like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Um, now you're ready to offer a proposal commitment on the table. Okay? You're ready to meet up over drinks, have a talk. Let me keep going. So you said keep going. Let's see. 
because you got history with this person and you like, I'm not willing to give that up. And you want children. Masculine. There's a lot of gossip behind the situation. Family and friends got involved and destroyed this connection. But you're racing towards and avoiding any other bullshit with the cherry energy. Sagittarius cancer energy going towards your person. Mike Archangel is protecting you and your person from any harm. Um, you're taking a gamble on the risk and you're wishing and yearning for your person. Yep. Gamble risk. Okay. And... Yeah, you're getting a grip. You're anchoring down. You're feeling way down by your current situation. But you love and adore, okay? You feel enchanted, enchantment with your divine feminine. You're in lockdown thinking about court papers, child support, alimony, divorce papers, you name it. Money. And I feel like the divine feminine is triggering you to come her way. Name cards, places, because she's so beautiful. Yep, you want to escape. You want to go her way. Waves of emotions, roller coasters. Let me see. You want to ascend with your... Oh, yeah, you want to ascend a spiritual awakening with your person. And you want to divorce your karmic. You want to get away from your karmic. You want to do a 21, 21. You feel crushed and alone. And you're writing and journaling. Some of you can be writing poems or poetry. About your feminine. Okay, spirit. Yeah, you're entrapped. You're like... Top, doo, doo, doo. You feel entrapment towards the situation in money stream. Sign you down. There's something being revealed here with the sun. You could have revealed to your feminine. Could have caused an emotional roller coaster with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. You see water and sun. So something was revealed that caused someone emotional a roller coaster. But you know that this is your twin now. There's some tra tragedy that you're dealing with at the present time. Forbidden love. This is the karmic. There's something going on bad in your situation with 2 2 on the clock. And you see, yeah, you need an intervention. You need your uncle. You find your divine feminine unquenchable. You're thirsty for her and you need her to rescue you from something. Yep. Okay, guys, this is me, Love Read. Let me quit putting. This is me, your Love Read. Click like, subscribe, share me, Divine Masculine. Um, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to help support the channel. To get a personal reader, cash out and donations in the description box on my page. Um, and yeah, I'm sending you guys love and light. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm doing Twin Flame next and I'm doing Divine Feminine as well. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time. Bye.